can't find you and I can't see any leopards from all the way up here. I'm standing in a Philanoptera violaceae, an apple leaf, one of the coolest trees out here. And I chose a tree that wasn't particularly easy to climb. I'm glad I didn't have to uh, uh, do the part where you actually watched me go up it. <laughs> Craig, was it a very elegant way or did I look something like I was sort of, I don't even know. An impala trying to climb out of the trees, probably what I sort of look like, legs dangling and to pull myself up. And my shoes don't have the greatest grip either. But what happened is I... But <laughs> between these two branches here, uh, and Megan, you've said that I th you thought I looked quite elegant. Well, thank you very much. I don't know how cool it was. Getting down is going to be a different story. But it is really, really nice to see what the view is like when you're a little bit raised. When we started the show, I was standing up on a termite mound and I thought that I could see a lot. But from up here, I can see right across the drainage line to the other side of where Rebecca's road is. I can see... What else can I see? I can't see Ali yet, but I can see all the way into the corner where we had those leopard tracks. But it is really nice out here, and I'm sad that there were no monkeys or no hornbills or anything like that to join me. But it is a beautiful tree. It's a great leopard tree too. Uh, in Zambia, I was spoiled. We actually, I saw more leopards in leaves than I think I did in any other tree. Oh, and in Nyala berries too. There were lots of them in the Nyala berries, but the apple leaves in Zambia are massive. And it's got a lovely wood, this tree. As you can see, but this is a particularly small one. Normally, uh, I think what's happened here is the elephants must have got to it when it was quite young and broke it about, and then it's split into two, because typically it just has one big trunk as a marula tree does. But it's very good wood. You can make lots of different types of furniture out of it. And what the locals use this for is if they can find a trunk of a tree that's wide enough, they will actually make a makoro out of it, which is a basic canoe. <laughs> Now, ah, oh, Lara Moore, you're wondering if I could perhaps carry a kill up this tree with me too. If that kill was in the form of a backpack, yes. Otherwise, I don't know how leopards do it. I don't know if I could put something in my mouth and pull it up here. Uh, I don't even think I'd be able to get up this tree with one hand. I needed to use both as well as both my feet to sort of scramble up to the tops over here. But now we need to try and get down. Hey, Craig, this is going to be interesting. Let's see. Let's hope I don't fall. Otherwise, if I fall, have a good laugh and enjoy it because that's what I'd want you to do. <laughs> I think Megan is an... Megan is a little bit nervous of me trying to climb down from here. Are you scared, Megan, that I fall? I'm scared that I fall. But I'm, you know what I'm more worried about is that my mic pack falls off. Right, let's give it a bash. Let's see. Now, this is if I was a leopard, this is how I would go down. And I apologize, my shirt is getting caught on all the cables, so it keeps lifting up. Pretty easy. Wasn't actually too difficult at all. I thought I was going to fall and break my ankle. But now I'm out of breath. It is exhausting climbing up that tree. I've done all my exercise for the day now. Arms are gymmed, and I think that's about it. But let's go across 